Hello my friends, and welcome back. In this video, I'll be providing a status update on the Como Rebi for Mac project. Como Rebi for Mac is a companion project to Como Rebi, the tiling window manager for Windows, and it aims to provide a cross-platform tiling window management experience. First up, let's take a look at focusing. So it is now possible to focus in any direction. Uh, it's also possible to cycle the focus with the cycle focus command and to promote focus. Uh, so we can take a quick little look at this, I hope. Common uh, RBC cycle focus next brings the focus down to the next window. If we switch the position here, um, we can also do cycle focus previous. And it brings the focus to the previous tile. And we can promote the focus to the largest tile on the workspace. All of the corresponding move commands have also been implemented, so you can move in any direction. Very nice. And you can also cycle move to previous and to next. And you can also promote to the largest tile in any given layout. There is also full support for stacking workflows. So if you take a look at the right, I'm going to stack those two windows one on top of each other. Now I can cycle backwards and forwards, uh, going through all windows on a given stack. When I am done with having these two things stacked, I can unstack. Uh, and yeah, pretty much what you would expect if you're coming from Como Rebi for Windows. We also have the stack all and unstack all commands implemented here as well. Workspaces have also been implemented at this point, so I can switch to another workspace that will bring up just windows that are associated with that workspace. I can switch back. There are a number of ways to change focus uh, between workspaces. If you're familiar with Como Rebi, for Windows, you'll recognize all of these commands which have also been implemented. Not only do we have workspaces implemented, we have movement between workspaces implemented. So I can move this window back to the other workspace. I can move a different window to that workspace. I can move multiple windows to that workspace. And I can move them all back. Uh, for those of you familiar with Como Rebi for Windows, you'll know that there is a distinction between moving and ascending to different workspaces. So when you move, you also change the focused workspace. Uh, and when you send, you keep the focus on the current workspace. Uh, all of the commands that you know and love to fit your own personal uh, preferred workflow have been implemented now in Como Rebi for Mac. Resizing windows is also supported. So you can use either the resize edge or the resize axis command. Uh, I prefer the resize axis command. Uh, and you can, you can resize your windows up, down, however you would like. Uh, and then when you're done, you can hit Como Rebi C retile to reset to the default layout dimensions. We also have support for floating windows. So you can float a window, you can move it around with the Como Rebi C move command. You can also use the resize commands as you like. You can switch from the floating workspace layer back to the tiling workspace layer. Uh, if you want to bring those floating windows back, you can switch back to the floating workspace layer. It's it's pretty smooth. It's pretty nice. I'm very happy with this. It works just as you would expect it to work if you're coming from Como Rebi for Windows. When you are done with your floating window, 
you can reintegrate it back into the layout. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and you can also send these floating windows to other workspaces, which is pretty nice. Yeah, just like that. Then you can bring them back and you can reintegrate them uh, wherever you want, really. It doesn't have to be any given workspace. You can make it floating, move it to a different workspace and also reintegrate it into that workspace. All of the Komorebi for Windows layouts are working and supported in Komorebi for Mac. So let's do uh, a quick cycle through all of them. This is the ultra wide vertical stack. This is the grid. This is the right main vertical stack. This is, I believe, the scrolling layout. Yep, that's the Near East style scrolling layout. Uh, trusty old BSP, columns, rows, vertical stack, horizontal stack, and back to the ultra wide vertical stack. Monocle mode is also available for people who feel like they need to get rid of other windows on the workspace to focus on something for a moment. I'm definitely one of those people. It's very hard for me to work without a monocle mode. So you can toggle it on like this and then you can toggle it off. It's also useful for windows that you have in smaller tiles. Maybe you don't want to move them to a bigger tile. You can just toggle the uh, monocle mode on that window and then it will go back to the smaller tile um, where it was before. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. This is also integrated with Komorebi's... I think this is one of Komorebi's best features, the window-based work area offset. So if you have... I have this configured to one. If you have one window on the screen, it will add padding that is defined by you, the user, to any side uh, of the window. And that just makes it really useful, especially for people on ultra wide monitors. Uh, saves their eyesight, saves their neck. Uh, you don't have to have the window taking up the full width of the screen unnecessarily. So it's, it's a nice little quality of life thing. I'm glad that we already have this in Komorebi for Mac. That is everything for this update. I hope everybody found something they enjoyed in there. Komorebi for Mac is being developed in private. Uh, this is largely inspired by the development of the Ghosty Terminal emulator, which was developed in private until it was ready for a public release. It's actually... It's actually very nice to develop something in private. Um, the last time I started a new project was probably Como Revy for Windows in 2020. It was relatively obscure. Like the whole, the whole software category of tiling window managers for Windows just didn't exist and nobody was interested. So for a long time, I was just building on my own in obscurity. But these days, like look at the numbers over 200,000 downloads. It's very widely used. It's pretty much synonymous with tiling window managers on Windows. So it's it's nice to be able to develop something in private for my own pleasure at my own speed um, after so long under under a lot of pressure. I will be continuing to post devlogs where I look at some of the more interesting commits in the Komorebi for Mac project, uh, especially as they relate to interacting with the Mac OS system APIs using the Rust programming language. If you would like to support my development, um, please consider becoming a sponsor. Uh, there are three different tiers, B tier, A tier, and S tier. Sponsors on the A tier and the S tier will be automatically invited to the Komorebi for Mac repository to be able to poke around. Uh, there will not be any pre-built artifacts, there will not be any support. You're more than welcome to try and get it building um, if you have access, but 
Um, there will be no support. Just putting that out there. Uh, definitely not until this has been made public. This project is also not accepting any contributions. It's really just me working on things at my own pace um, and just taking back some agency when it comes to um, working on things that I want to work on. So if you would like to support me, please do become a sponsor. You'll get to have a closer look under the hood. You'll also, you'll also be the first to know about new things being implemented in the state of feature parity uh, between Kamal Rebi for Windows and Kamal Rebi for Mac as things progress. All right, my friends. I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day. Free Palestine. And I'll see you. I almost forgot. Some of you were asking for updates on the album that I recorded this summer. It is not yet available to stream anywhere or download anywhere. Hopefully, I will have news on that sometime in October. But for now, you can sit back and listen to one of the songs from this upcoming album. It's called Halt and Catch Fire. Tired. 